Hello and welcome. My name is Devashish Roy. I am the Director General of Indian Jute Mills Association. Along with me is Mr. Rajivardhan Kanoria, the best brand ambassador the jute industry can get. Mr. Kanoria has spearheaded jute and the industry for many decades. He has shown the path to the government of India on how jute can be practiced as an industry and a channel for farmers, workers and officers to lead their lives. Jute, as you know, is a natural product. It is without pollution. It is not toxic. It is replacing other toxic products throughout the world. Jute is the winner and we are here to go. Sir, what do you have to say about the future of jute? I think it has a great future. In fact, uh, you know, very ironically, whenever I speak to many of my industrial friends and colleagues, they always tell me, oh, jute, are you still running the mill? And I say that, you know, uh, we have always treated this as a sunset industry. But on the other hand, I believe it's a sunrise industry. Absolutely. You know, the carbon footprint of this industry is a negative, uh, mm. which is a very, very unusual industry to be in in these times when most industries have uh, you know they have some kind of positive True. Uh, carbon. they're struggling with some or the other positive carbon footprint but this is the only industry which has a negative carbon footprint now I think uh, there are those obviously challenges in this industry and I think the biggest challenge is that it is concentrated in India and in Bangladesh and uh, technologically the jute industry has received very little attention from machine manufacturers True. and unless and until we can get some kind of uh, mm -hmm. technological, quantum technological leap, right. um, I feel that one of the constraints in this industry is the, the cost of production okay. because the paper content is really, really high. True. I mean, today's automotive <coughs> world, whereas we would love to have employment, there's mm -hmm. no question about that, but I think we also need to compete. Absolutely. I think the second more important, also important factor is that um, there needs to be, I believe that there should be an industry wide effort for uh, extension work in farming. Mm -hmm. And we should be looking at how we can improve the yield as well as the quality of raw juice. Raw juice absolutely. Which will be beneficial both to the farmer as well as to industry. So these two issues of how to look at more efficient ways of manufacturing mm -hmm. and how to improve the raw material quality. Uh, quality. Uh, obviously other things like diversification and looking at new products, mm -hmm. making the yarns and the products lighter so that they can compete directly with plastics. Right. Uh, these are efforts which are already ongoing in the industry mm -hmm. and they're met with limited success. There are innumerable applications in this industry. I mean, anything and everything virtually you can think of, uh, we can apply to. We can to apply it. to jute. I mean, whether it is in agriculture, where uh, jute fabrics, uh, I mean, we've made some trials also. That in the desert you can lay out the fabric. Right. And because of the property of jute, the moisture, moisture is retained. Okay. And it slowly releases the moisture. So if you plant seeds, right, right. you can actually grow a crop even in desert environments. Excellent. So it is a quasi drip irrigation kind of process, mm -hmm. but uh, without the need for water. So if there's rainfall, a little bit of rainfall, the water it will be retained. It will get retained. Then there are obviously other forms of geotextiles, whether it is earth building, soil savers for you know when you're constructing highways or canals then keep the mud from right. going down and then there's biodegradable so you never have to remove it you just okay. remove it. so I mean uh, then of course shopping bags uh, bags for everyday use True. so incidentally secondary textiles had encouraged IJMA to go in for uh, research uh, after tying up with research bodies for new machines as you just pointed out. So we are talking to three 
right now, which has been suggested by our colleagues, one from Gloucester and other and another from uh, you know Gindai Group and all that. So we are trying to bring the industry together for this effort, and government is ready to do the funding. They have said that if you go ahead do the effort, we'll do the funding. So tomorrow, yes, we hopefully see a better, brighter future for Jute. No, I think that's incredible because you see, uh, uh, IDMA's role is, has been to really uh, bring industry together on many fronts. And if we can do that on the technological front, yes. the product development front, and yes. then I think that there will be significant changes. Absolutely. The problem with product development in many ways is also that you know, sometimes there is the first mover advantage mm -hmm. and yes, nobody wants to give up their first mover advantage in right. doing the research on their own. But right. collective research, obviously, yes. there is no question of first mover. Yes. Absolutely. In fact, some things that I came across recently is that China, when it was building those uh, railway tunnels in Tibet, which are very high altitude, they had got a non-woven layer of jute mixed with cement to ward off seepage in those tunnels. And uh, these kind of innovative uses are going on around the world. Yeah, you see, non-woven basically, non-woven can be used for insulation purposes. Mm -hmm. Non-woven can be used for making something like linoleum for so, yeah. floor covering layer. It can be a substrate for many materials. Uh, so, it's a uh, I mean, non-woven again is a whole field mm -hmm. of application. The one which I was talking about agriculture also non-woven. Yes, yes. Then, uh, I mean, we are making in Mercury, we are making mm -hmm. non-woven. Okay. We are trying to develop that as well. But uh, it's a whole different uh, field. Absolutely. So we are uh, at IJMA, we are launching two web presence platforms to promote these new areas so that uh, internationally there is a demand for it. But as you pointed out, two problems which have to be sorted out first, one is quality of raw jute and second labor. So these two again has to be a, have to be concerted yeah, efforts uh, along with the involvement of the central government and state government. And I think also, I didn't mention it earlier, but application development. Mm -hmm. See, we are doing product development. Right. We need to find solutions. So the industry is thinking has to change from supplying a product to supplying a solution. True. And and it is possible. It is possible. Ludlow has shown the way in this area yeah, for a very long time. You know, to be very honest with you, one should not take uh, undue okay. credit. But I think this mindset is a mindset change which can only happen over time. True. But uh, in every sphere. Today in industry, if you look at, uh, it's all becoming more and more solution based. Mm -hmm. If you look at a simple a paint company like Asian Paints, a highly successful company, True. has moved completely into solution. Based. Absolutely. Therefore, earlier, if I wanted to paint my house, mm -hmm. I would say I'm going to buy, it's not an Asian paint, but an ICI paint or a Dallas paint. True. Okay. That now, the point mm -hmm. is that today you no longer ask for. In pain, you ask for something saying that I want my house to remain uh, not require Shine painting for the next 10 years. Exactly. So then dust the paint company suggests to you mm. the dust free, the longevity, the UV radiation impact, right. impact of you know where uh, of sand, let mm. us say in beach areas. So, so it's a chemical solution, incidentally, which is paint. Uh, the paint itself. The additives in the paint right. are tailored in such a way that they become specific to the application. True. Similarly, jute also, the, the products can be tailored in such a way that mm -hmm. they become specific to the application. Absolutely. So this mindset yes. means that we have to go into a different level of marketing. Mm -hmm. That means to find areas and then work backwards to finding the product to suit that application. There you have it friends, this is the way forward for the jute industry, see you later, Devashish Roy, thank you.